Rosie on the line? Can you hear me, Rosie? No. Can you hear me, Rosie? I can hear you, Margo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yay. I can hear you. I can hear you. <laughs> Delighted to have you uh, with us today. And uh, this is our very own Rosie Patton. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Said hello to Rosie Porter, whoever she is, and wherever. I'm she sure is. she's delighted. <laughs> I'm sure Rosie Porter's delighted. Uh, she's getting so much of a shout out this morning. Like, <laughs> and, uh, but as I say, now, Rosie, what's the crack? What what's happening in your world at the moment? In my world at the moment, Margot, it is completely flat to the mass. I don't have time to breathe. Um, as you know, we're doing the play, the Christian Support Group, Why Not Be Kids the Gay, and that's why I'm on your lovely show. So thanks very much, Margot, for taking the time out to chat with me. How's my phone for it? Is it all good, eh? Aye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, as I say, I'm, I'm looking forward to going along to see it anyway, so as I say, the least we could do is, is uh, have a wee chat to you about it and what the crack is with it. And how do people come along and see it and blah 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 and how did you come to come up with the idea and it sounds hilarious in fairness oh. yeah well the idea as i said i was chatting to laugh with the idea itself came up whenever i was kind of like going to pride events and things like that and you've got you know people standing up the side of the roads and Oh, you're coming on and out there, Rosie. I don't know if you can go any closer to the window. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Well, I, 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 oh, sure. The pride it's, 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 it's coming on and out. Like, um, I'm wondering, do we need to ring you back? Um, can you say... <laughs> it's like testing, Sorry. testing. Because it's coming on and out, so we're only getting a word here and there. Like, so, um, I don't know if there's anywhere... Is that any better? That's better, yeah. That's, That's better, right, yes, right yes. beside the window here. All right, just stay there. <laughs> stay here. You're I'm good. not moving. Okay, so tell me, the, the, how did you get the idea for for the play? Yeah. All right, so, as I say, just uh, going to like, pride events and people just standing at the side of the road with maybe less colourful banners than the people who were attending the pride events and not so encouraging words or not so mm. not so welcoming and nice compared to the pride events themselves so just thought i would maybe take the two sides of maybe the christian side and maybe you know the queer side and make a play that brings everybody together in a neutral kind of way and nobody in isolation bringing everyone to kind of enjoy theater yeah. but also kind of learn from each other so you know, you might get something from the Christians learning something about the queer side, the queer side learning something about, you know, the Christian side. So it's about just maybe getting people to open their minds a wee bit and think holistically and not just on your own views and interpretation of what somebody should be. Yeah. Mm. Right. So it's a sort of a travel broadens the mind, but I don't know yeah. if you travel in the play, but it does. Like, I mean, mm. that's what I have to say. It's like, uh, what was it? Um, <laughs> If you see somebody without a smile, give them one of yours and stuff like that. It's just a, it's a kindness and a fun yeah. thing. Like, yeah. And if you can do it with theatre, theatre is the best way to kind of get that across. And, you know, whenever you do kind of like gay plays and things, that is quite isolated because you just get, you know, the queer community going to that. My goal is to get everybody out and not just necessarily one demographic over another. I want everyone to come to my plays and no. everybody to feel really inclusive and you know, laugh together and not laugh at each other. So it's ah. just get everybody um, collectively laughing at the one thing. Yeah, it's brilliant. That's it? yeah. really, really good. And um, was it? I wasn't expecting that. Was that the name of the one last? The one last year? Um, yeah, I wasn't expecting that. Um, and that's basically... I didn't see that. I wasn't expecting that. I didn't see that coming. You threw me off there. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> yeah, you called it that. <laughs> Even when I was Rosie looking Porter's at the answer, answer this question. <laughs> I wrote that's Rosie Porter's play. She that's wrote Rosie that. Porter's play. <laughs> I, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> but uh, no, <laughs> I didn't see that coming. But basically, um, as you know anybody that kind of comes out, the first thing you hear when you're talking to somebody, God, I wasn't expecting that. You know, I didn't see that coming. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so there's that kind of um, just kind of playing around with words that people actually use and phrases that people use, mm. making them humorous and making them relevant to what I'm doing basically with the play. Yeah, of course, of mm. course. And tell us, we have some, uh, we have some, <laughs> dare I say it, repeat offenders 
No offense, Maureen, I'm not saying that about you, Maureen. But no, you've got some of the some of the great cast from last year's plays yeah. back again this year too. Oh, fantastic cast. Like, you know, Maureen Wilkinson Mo yeah. as like she's legendary there in the town and then, you know, got a couple of new ones. We've got Shelby Devine, we've got Catherine Brown, we've got Neve Cannon, we've got Connor Doherty and we've got Claire and all the guys there, the three of them are pretty new, but oh. um, not not new not new to the theatre. Like whenever you come you're gonna be absolutely blown away by the talent. It's, um, yeah, if, if I'm honest, I would say it's something you see in the lyrics in Belfast is ask what they're bringing and what they're doing with this play, with this script. They're making it their own. I may have written it, but they are telling the story. It's absolutely phenomenal. Oh. And that's me not being biased because oh. they are an absolutely brilliant cast and I've been very lucky to get them. Oh, I know. It sounds, it sounds fantastic. But in saying that, is it different for you this year? Because I, I, you, you directed last year, didn't you? Yeah. I directed the first play and then quickly realised that um, people listen to Brian Hassan better than me. <laughs> so <laughs> I got Brian Hassan on board and Brian is an absolute amazing addition to the team. Like, he's, he's always there anyway. He's like my right-hand man. I can't really do anything without Brian, if I'm honest. But, um, yeah, Brian now is on and Brian is taking this in a direction and he's getting all those little bits that maybe I or somebody else wouldn't get out of the guys and it's yeah it's, it's brilliant it is absolutely fantastic no, I'm, I'm loving it I'm going to rehearsals every night you know I'm doing like the media side of things and I'm doing all the communications you know with the theatre yeah. down in Dublin and that but um yeah in regards to everything else it's the guys and Brian oh that's class like I mean that's what I was saying it's given it, hopefully it's given you chance to enjoy it more now as well because you're there every night and because you're not mm. you're not under the like like you know the, the directing's not easy mm. well this is the thing we kind of do things quite brian has a great way of working with people collaboratively like if the guys have an idea we chat it out and if i have an idea say because you're seeing your writing kind of unfold in front of you you don't really know how it's going to sound and then whenever you see it out in rehearsals you kind of go oh do you know what maybe we could do maybe i could change that line or do this with that line make things sound a wee bit more natural and we kind of give the guys a wee bit of freedom as well you know if oh. something doesn't feel comfortable then let's all talk it out and see if we can make it feel comfortable for you oh, the nice thing is you know margot i've always kind of enjoyed theater but i want it to be fun for everybody if they come and they do it it has the rehearsal has to be fun otherwise you know it's going to feel like a chore so I can put my hand in my heart and I can say, I don't think this feels like a chore to the guys. I think they actually really enjoy it. And everybody needs a laugh, in fairness. Whatever mm -hmm. way, whatever yeah. way your orientation is, be you LGBTI+, plus whatever, or ally, <laughs> everybody needs a laugh. I mean, and that's yeah. the thing. This is it. And you're going to get an inclusive laugh with this. As I say, this is not just for one demographic. This is for everybody. Right. There's nobody that can't come and watch this. Yeah. Everybody can come and see it. So there is no, there's no age limit on it anyway, no? There's not. Do you know what? There's no, um, no, there's, no there's nothing bad in it. There's no, nothing no. like it. As Ollie, ha Ollie Green, who's producing it down studio too, Ollie has said he's had a lot of phone calls and people asking what's the age range on it. And he just said he's, uh, he's read it, obviously, and he's proofed it. Mm -hmm. And he's telling people, look, your kids are going to see worse on YouTube. <laughs> so if you're letting your kids watch YouTube, you can let them watch this play. Exactly. So that's how he that's what he's going back to them and saying. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's mm. brilliant. I'm delighted that it's that it's so open and, and everybody's uh, you know able to come if they can. Yeah. Um, and if well, you get people younger, you know, you get people, you get you kind of get that wee younger mind, um, kind of a little bit more open whenever they do, whenever they are exposed to something a little bit younger. But in a sensitive way, this play is done really sensitively. That's why yeah. anybody can come and see it. But if you're exposed to something quite um, a topic like this, quite young. It kind of opens your mind a little bit, you know, yeah, to yes. maybe your peers and people around you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like it's 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 uh, well, things are changing, but it's kind of it's. I always think it's kind of sad that we still have to, you know, sort of compartmentalize uh, a way a person lives their life. Mm -hmm. uh, but not yeah. so much as it used to be. But I mean, no. it, but this is also uh, encouraging understanding and friendship mm -hmm. and just to see how we're all the same and we're yeah. all we all bleed and we're all human um yeah. and that's yeah. you know that's at the end of the day it's like mm -hmm. when you forget that that's yeah. you're going down a, dif a difficult road but anyway that's it and that's probably one of the main you know um outliers of the play is 
we're taking it from a human side. Everything that's been said, it's, it's from a human side. If you take out religion, you take out, you know, sexuality, we're coming at this from a humanity side. You know, you should be disrespectful to everybody and anybody, whatever path they pick in life. Yeah, exactly, mm. exactly. Yeah. And, uh, and you've been accepted into the Gay Theatre Festival in Dublin again. This is your again. second time. So second time, and thanks to you, Margo, we hear, I, I, you know, I didn't know nothing about it until you um, had mentioned it to me a couple of years oh, ago. It's, so it's, a, it's, a, be- it's, so a, it's a beautiful big festival in Dublin as well. It's absolutely it's massive. Rocking. It yeah, is, and yeah. it's actually grown bigger than the French Festival in um, in Glasgow, in Liverpool, or Scotland. It's, it's um, I heard Brian Merriman on yeah. there last week, and it's actually grown by 70%, whereas all our kind of fringes and things aren't growing mm-hmm. at that rate. So yeah. it's it's great to be a part of something at an international level and be welcomed down. Yeah. We pretty much got an unconditional offer this morning. Write another play and let's do this. So we were buzzing. We were absolutely delighted with that. Well, tell, great. tell us, this was in the, the, the Teachers Club last year too. Teachers Club last year, and we got two nominations. Like for my first play, I was blown away. I get two um, writers' nominations wow. for that, and performance nominations. So um, we're going down this year, oh. and <laughs> with with the name of coming back, we won. <laughs> but if not, we'll still have fun anyway. So no, but this is the thing. Like I mean, uh, people mm. will will have remembered how good last year's was so they'll definitely mm. be out for this year's but, uh, hopefully, yeah hopefully, and yeah. as I say like and 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 people in our general area around uh Derry Donegal etc etc come from wherever to studio mm-hmm. too because uh, mm-hmm. you're guaranteed hopefully, a yeah. lovely a lovely evening and uh, it's, a, it's a tenor for an hour's comedy where would you get it like, I, you know geez, what I mean no I know tell me about it like uh, mm. I mean, I'm a huge fan of comedy anyway, and there's mm. there's no comedy shows that are that affordable. Well, not very many uh-huh. anyway, like so. Yeah. But um, no, as I say, I'm really looking forward to seeing it. So, but you must be, oh, you're coming into the home straights now, aren't you? Like, yeah. This is it. Next week, the second and third of May, on Studio Two. The doors open at half past seven, and it kicks off at eight o'clock. It's going to be about an hour sixty-five minutes at the most, yeah. and then um, we're heading to Dublin then on the Sunday, and then we kick off. Uh, our shows then from the Monday to Thursday, so that's all straight through for the next two weeks. Gosh, amazing! That's that's, uh, that's exciting. Yeah. Busy as well. It's exciting. I... Oh, massively exciting! Oh, I have massive. Yeah. And um, so you're you're taking and uh, you have to take time out of your real job as well, like yeah. to do this as well. But this is it. This is life blood, like at the same time as well. Uh, I mean, yeah, just... okay, you do this for the passion and the love of it because you wouldn't do it for the money because there isn't none. No. If anything, I'm out of pocket. <laughs> Always, always. Uh, uh, you know, theatre is one of those things you do for love, and it's not really something you kind of have to have a passion for. It, but you know, this is going to be brilliant. It's going to be great experience mm. and great exposure for the guys too. So, um, I'm, I'm I'm delighted for that. I'm, I'm well, I'm so uh, I know, I know I'm, I'm speaking out of turn, but congratulations to Brian too for directing because oh, I know anything he puts yeah. his mind to is brilliant. And he's oh, such a good writer yeah. as well. Like, but uh, he is, he is definitely. I'm yeah. really yeah. looking forward to seeing it. And as I say, hopefully, Rosie. Will, as I say, you're a brilliant DJ on a Saturday. But like, there's more <laughs> to you than this. <laughs> but as I say, if um, so, yeah, that's what you said. So the doors are at half seven, and it's Studio Two, and that's out in where is that again? Skeg. It's out in Skeg Industrial Park. And I uh, Skeg Industrial so, Park. Uh, if you look for everybody's bought a bit. Uh, a a bit of a, a cake out of each or, or you bake, so it's out around there. <laughs> <laughs> God, I didn't Anybody who's ever had a birthday cake in Derry, it's out around that bakery. <laughs> I need one for maybe maybe Darnan's or birthday today. So. There you go, nip down. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, so we'll see you uh, next week then. Oh, well, uh, that's what I was going to say. You're going to be there anyway, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, God, I have, yeah. yeah. That's, that's the next thing you'll have to do for next year. You're going to have to write, well, me as well, but you're going to have to write yourself apart and get somebody else to direct you. <laughs> Margot, no. <laughs> <laughs> Something I don't do is get up on stage. Bad enough, I have to say thank you to everybody at the end. Not that I won't, because I, I want to, but as the nerves be jumping out of me, I'm grand behind the the radio but getting up in front of people no nah, you're all right oh jeez oh, oh, well i well I, I know I, well i think you'd be well able for it. well hello the old the old fez being here says don't forget me so 
never. <laughs> okay, well, thank you so yeah. much for talking. Margot, can I just say thank yeah. you as well? We had we had a donation from um, the Dairy Credit Union. They have been massively oh. supportive over the last two years. So thank you to that. And my brother-in-law, Kevin, has actually made a big donation too recently. So I just oh. want to say thank a personal thank you to those two. Yes, so thank course. you so much. And a thank you to everybody who has now bought a ticket. We're, we're doing a dairy top as well. Find, so Dairy City is finding dairy top as well. We're doing that. Right. And the fundraising now, Ollie, down Studio 2, thank you to him. It's been so supportive mm -hmm. and producing the play and everything. So I just want to say thank you to everybody, especially my cast and my crew and Brian. Mm -hmm. And I definitely can't wait to see everybody there. And I know you're going to laugh. See me laugh. I'll give you your money back. <laughs> You might have to hunt me down for it, but I'm, I'll give it back to you. I, well, after, after, the, after all the festivals and things are over. <laughs> <laughs> no, but was, uh, no, nobody will be looking for their money back, and you can uh, yeah. you can you can bring it to me as well if you, if, you, if that's the way you think. But in saying that, no, mm. if you go out for the night, you'll have a great mm. night. I know we will because I'm really looking yeah. forward to. I always a, a powerhouse and thank God for him because, as I say, mm -hmm. with the loss of another theatre in the town, it's it's, that's it's so sad. Yeah. That is so mm -hmm. so sad, and it's a beautiful theatre, the Waterside. Mm -hmm. Well, there you go. But um, as I say, and where would we be without the credit union? I'll tell you, I wouldn't have had any holidays anyway if it wasn't for them. <laughs> so, uh, good on your brother-in-law as well. But um, what I was going to say, well, thank you so much, uh, Rosie Patton. And the play <laughs> is called How, uh, The Christian Support Group or How Not to Catch the Gay. Mm -hmm. so, and good, uh, good luck to Rosie Porter with her play. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a brilliant one. She's probably got a brilliant songs as well. I bet you she's nowhere near as funny. So. Um, okay. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you so much. Take care of yourself, Rosie. Take care. Bye bye. Bye. bye.